Welcome to Smoke Dope Battles AB, man. Now can I get y'all to make some fucking noise? Yeah. It's distinction four, man. It's been a fucking Dirty. awesome time so far. There's nothing that's gonna happen without our sponsors. Our sponsors are Royal Thieves, Kush Clothing, Words Entertainment, okay. Perpetual Beats, Ideal Illusions, and Gas City Tattoo, man. Make some noise for you guys. Yeah. I also got some co hosts Mac the Mad Hatter, I'm still fat, and just like my wife, y'all can't seem to get over it. Yo, brother, the chat. The champion of Medicine Hat, the champion of all of Smoked Out. Y'all can suck a dick, but make some noise as well. I'm not rude enough to fuck your crush, but I'll shit in your toilet and not even flush. You will flush. It's yo, 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 it's one popular. It's one two two flesh. Flesh. It's two flesh. That's it. It's Max and co-hosting his own battle. That's it. That's enough co host for one fucking battle. Uh, without Whoa. further ado, rapper to my right, please introduce yourself. Yo, it's Pac Man, aka the Dab Man, aka Mr. Building Up the Card, aka Mr. Bottom of Your Mother's Heart. Got a couple of <laughs> got a couple of shout outs to my sponsors, Safety Net Studios, Medman Brand, and Easy Extractors. Without them, I wouldn't be here today. So Fuck you! Make some fucking noise, guys. Here's some, uh, something free. Okay. Something free, they like free things. <laughs> Rapper to my left. Yo, when Papa ever talk back to me, you're gonna get your ass beaten. But if you ever look at me the wrong way, you're gonna get your ass seen. Let's go. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. That is how you start that shit. And they chose... Everyone, keep it down, man. They chose off camera, it's gonna be round one on Papa. So whenever they're ready, everyone, please keep it down. Respect the MCs, man. Okay, so Jesse hit me up, like... Papa versus Pac-Man, battle on the Medicine Hat stage. And I replied with, sweet. So I gotta battle the guy who looks like the ugliest carnival prize ever made. <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, all I'm saying is, Pac-Man as a kid, it's gotta be rape. Like, he looks like an STI mutation. Can we change his battle name to Herpagana Syphilades? And he's like, no, we can't change his name, but do you wanna battle him anyways? And I was like, I don't know. It's pretty fucking ugly. I haven't mentioned the weight. So I kept going on by telling him that I bet when you step on scales, you overweigh. When your friends tell you to put down the snacks, you're like, no, there's no time to waste. Then bathe in Gatorade and say it's great. Then probably go to sleep in a bed full of crumbs that you just ate. I bet when you piss, it smells like marinade. Cause look at you. Cause look at you, you got the meat sweats, like you're just pork and back fillets. I can't wait to go order food when you're off stage. Fuck your overweight. <laughs> But Alex said himself that he's the nicest guy in Smoked Out. He said it many times in the past. That's fine with me, because just remember, Alex, nice guys finish last. And I'll murder Pac, okay. but he ain't got no casket. We'll cremate his body, make Pac make a make Pac in like a blunt, and just turn him to ashes. Okay. And you're the only one in your crew not getting made a vent of the night. You're the only one left, because you ain't doing it right. So start wasting your time dabbing in your vlog videos. Maybe send that time to write. Because taking a battle with me is like picking all the wrong kids at school. Because now Papa's coming to fight. Oh. When I'm picking on Pac, oh. okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. And when I have eaten Pac Man, he'll just look like an arrest. Because I'll be feeding him rights. Uh, I'm like a kid who's got allowance, and I'll play Pac-Man all night. Only one round in, and Pac-Man already knows that he's going home with a loss. He probably has alarms going off in his head, like birds flying in a box. Okay. And so I've seen your radio vlogs, and I've still noticed that the rap career still isn't taken off for you. I would ask, what the fuck you're waiting for? I already know that you're just waiting for the next excuse. And like, Pac-Man died a long time ago, man. There's way better things to do. The only time someone plays Pac-Man these days is when a girl says she's into you. Okay. <laughs> and I'm all up swinging butterfly knives like I was twirling drumsticks. Five stabs in his gut, and it was really got butterflies in his stomach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was uh, crazy. And your life looks like every moment has been half-assed. And if you're looking for something worthwhile to brag about, well that dream has passed. It's the fact that you're born a fuck-up, and have a shitty personality that really go hand-in-hand. Hand. Cause you ain't no Peter Pan, and that sweet life on the other side is something you will never land. And speaking of never land, if we throw hands, that'll be something you will never land. Cause you got T-Rex arms, so I ain't talking poker when I say you got them shorter hands. And you <laughs> fucked up if you wanna mess with me and my crew. Cause it's 24 times a day that you'll see our hands. Yeah! You know? yeah. Mm. And if, That's crazy. Yeah, Pac-Man shows yeah. Up with his usual half-assed lines, he's got bad odds of getting racks at the casino. He's always casting out lines to his friends for fake gas. This clown is just fishing like he's looking for Nemo. That's time. Okay. Yeah. 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 Pac-Man, brother, round one. He's so Yo, Papa. Okay, what's up? There's something serious we need to speak about tonight. When you made that comment about my boy Dave, 
and you thought everything was gonna be all right. I bet you B Burns was behind you while you tried pushing you, trying to get you hype. Then MC Rush saw that comment. Said the next time he's in Med Hat, you get these hands and there'll be a fight. Then you turn bitch made and apologize not even 12 hours the same night. Like, tell me that's a lie. Relax, homie, he's not here. You don't have to have your shoulders so tight. But I hope, but I hope, I hope they have to put you in a coma your whole damn life. Your girl has to go what his girl was going through, right? But instead, she regrets being with you. Cause she won't have kids or be a damn wife and end up leaving with me tonight, so. Okay. Oh. So you, Papa? Well, I'm sunning you. You can call me Dada. I'm the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Dada. I'm the shit, you caca. You just nothing. Might as well change your name to Nada. I'm Mufasa, and you just a big bitch cat like Nala. So. After this matchup, after this matchup, after this matchup, your girly, she gonna holla, giving him a purple heart like a medal of honor. She's back in my hotel, asked to give me brain. I say, yeah, cause I gotta. I make that bitch swallow a lot of, but I didn't want the pussy. Cause that slit looked like a mouth of a piranha. <laughs> After this matchup, she is gonna be flirting. I get pops. I do have a family. I get popping that papa. Jaw dropper, non stop of raw talk, blasting off faster than sawed offs. Dog, stop. I'm known to throw proper. Shut down your team like Coach Carter. I stink. I stink like mint gum and cold water. And I'm here. It does stink. And I'm here for a slaughter. And you look like an otter's transgender daughter who is always inspired by Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, too. Papa. So Pac-Man is the next Hold it down! Yeah, hold it down. Pac-Man is the next level kind of fat man. The type of Pac-Man gripping his dick like the last pizza crust. While they recorded with moistened Cheeto dust. Hands stuck in fuzzy cuffs, beer bong in a syrup jug. Body all peanut buttered and jellied up. His toes look like some tater tots. He Roma's fucking turkey stock. I bet, you I bet you bleed gravy. And between your legs are chafing. I'll call up Copperfield. Uh, no, no, fuck it. I'll make him disappear. Call up Copperfield before the sick puck throw fucks another cockatiel. Look at over yourself. Christmas is the only season that you're actually a rapper. Unless the saying is true that you are what you eat. And you're just dressed in those candy bar wrappers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but you once told me that I had a family. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. He has a family! <laughs> you once told me that I had a family. Take it back! <laughs> Never! You know nothing about me! <laughs> <laughs> And if Pac-Man wins, uh -oh. I won't even be mad. Because at the end of the day, I still know that my dad could beat up your dad. <laughs> and so someone assumed that I bring some ass in bars. So let's bring some ass in bars. Let's yeah, yeah. Okay. Why are we cheering? Why are we cheering? When I see a shitter, <laughs> no, fuck. <laughs> When I see an ass, I just want to eat that shitter like an apple fritter. Okay. When I see an ass, I just want to eat that booty hole like a tuna casserole. When I see an ass, I just want some cigarettes and butt sex. When I see an ass, I just want to eat that caboose to the booty loose. What can I say? I'll eat that shit all day. Yo, but before I continue, I got an announcement first. Me and Juan Pops, the co-founders of Eat a Booty Gang. We also got Franklin, Philly, and JF, just a few to name. And we wait fine in that shade gang, cause if you give us shade, we give you shade just the same. It's 20 motherfucking 19. We do some crazy shit. You can call us that anal Wu-Tang. We're professionals, fuck. We lock down that booty eating game. <laughs> Yeah. And the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> I'll run it back. Run it out. Run it back. Shut down. Hold it down.
And the heart wants what the heart wants. That's just out of your control. They say you are what you eat, so I guess I'm an asshole. <laughs> I need a favor. I want to try that Pac-Man flavor. I want to try that Pac-Man flavor. What else? I want to try that body all covered in peanut butter and jelly kind of flavor. I want to try that fat boy swan on stage and he's a sweat red kind of flavor. I want to try that kind of safe for later Pac-Man wafer flavor. I want to try that kind of Costco sample size Alex tasting like Willy Wonka but Donka Donk kind of flavor. What? I need a favor. What? Yo, he's I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, sorry. I'm not. I'm going to eat your ass Pac-Man. <laughs> you are now. Tell him. Talk to him. I'm gonna eat your ass back, man. Oh That's God. right, you heard me. I'm gonna eat that sweet little ass, even if it's dirty! No! 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 no. 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 And so people ask me, why do I eat so much Bodhi? And I tell them it's 2019, you see, so I made some lemonade, and now pirates don't even get as much Bodhi as me. Yo, no. no, but how am I supposed to write a rap battle where I'm supposed to get mad at you? When you're just so fucking cute. I just wanna pick you up and cuddle you and squeeze your tight little caboose. I just wanna go on long walks on the beach with you and cry on your shoulder if I'm having the blues. And I'd eat your booty no matter what. what? Even if it was loose or abused, or if you just took a deuce. That's enough of me spilling the truth because you make me wanna beat off. Now beat off! <laughs> he has the Fix. boundaries! Fix. Make some fucking noise! Make some fucking noise, I guess! I, Jesus! Fucking now, too! Pack that! Oh! No! Whenever they're ready, pack that! Fucking booty eating oh, season! Okay! Hold it down! Hold it down! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold it down! Hold on! Okay? <laughs> Calm down! Because honestly, I can't believe this, and this is trash. I went to sweet who talked about penis to a guy who only talks about ass. Right. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Like, you're making everybody uncomfortable. That shit's clear. It clearly, it, I can clearly tell that you want to have a friend triloquist and you want to be the puppet puppeteer. <laughs> what, you want to have fingers up, up people's asses? Yo, shout out to TK. That shit's true. <laughs> I bet you want to feel all around there, even the poop. <laughs> he said he was more funnier than me. That's a lie. You're more weirder than me. <laughs> That's not a lie. <laughs> like, like, honestly, right now, everybody on stage is like, what is Pac-Man going to say to him? He talked about eating his ass. <laughs> You're going to get backlash, bro. <laughs> People are going to see this clip. And they're gonna be like, I don't want to battle Pap Papa anymore. Can we not make sure this exists? <laughs> like, if I had a choice of the battles I get vaulted, this would probably be one of them. <laughs> Cause there's not one time I want you to talk about my bum. <laughs> like, like this is getting awkward. Look at Craig's face. He has a family. <laughs> Craig honestly looks out of place. He drank a little bit too much. He's just a little bit too much white in the face. <laughs> Time. Make some fucking noise, guys. <laughs> Round three. Papa, man, whenever they're ready, brother. So Pac-Man and, Pac and I aren't up here trying to act tougher than each other. It's about who gets more laughs, because we already know it's just the battle of the one-liners. Let's go. There you go. <laughs> okay, here's the sitch. What is two words and seven letters for greatest alive? Me, bitch. <laughs> Does everyone know what rhymes with Pac-Man covered in Vaseline? Life-size anal bead. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What in the actual? Now I'm gonna murder everyone close to Pac-Man. And I'll do it happily. I just wanna make sure that no one can ever tell Pac-Man that he has a family. Yo, and I'm gonna give you a whole basket of apples. He had a family. Just so I can ask you. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> and almost everyone in this room has dropped a girlfriend bar, but when is the last time someone's girlfriend dropped a bar? Hit it, Ray! You suck! Good enough! <laughs> <laughs> but you're disgusting. Fire. You're disgusting. Looks like you've been bathed in weeks. Pac-Man is like John Travolta. He's only known for Greece. And he's always showing up. 
So he showed up with this merch like he can outdress me. Bitch, please! My sauce is untouchable, like nacho cheese. <laughs> So Pac-Man is like 24, look like he's 14. I guess that's not all what it seems. The only way to get someone ugly as you is like getting holes in your pants. Someone must have fucked up your jeans. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful. I like it. Yeah. But you only love battle rap so much because you never shown any love as a kid. I know you come to battle events with a sabri backstory of how everything bad that could happen to you did. But get over it, kid. I'll put a branch up Jesse's ass just to show you the shitty end of the stick. <laughs> you always get to the ass. <laughs> But our styles show the difference pretty loud and clear. You got the real thing versus the knockoff, like Gucci versus Sears. But do you even know what productive means? Because I'm part of you in life, and you've had five extra years. Like, uh, I got a good job and a real house and a bad chick, too. You're just a waste of time and money. You're like a bad tattoo. <laughs> and nothing you say to me offends me, dude. You're just a fat fuck from Winnipeg and got a major case of the dicky do. And you might be wondering right now, like, what the fuck's the dicky do? It's from years of abuse. Just look at you. Your guppy hanging out more than your dicky do. Make some noise! You probably came out of your mother's ass, you piece of shit. <laughs> And I know for sure, and I know for sure, because you have the same smell when I was all up in there and eating it. Just, oh, oh, I won't be rude to her. I won't be rude to her. Because you seem like you're your mama's kid, but your mom said she likes me more because her son was just a little bitch. But your mom and I are getting married soon. So now the name makes more sense, now does it? So now the name Papa makes a lot more sense, now doesn't it? Papa versus Pac-Man, who knew it was a family thing. And your mom's only got enough love for one person. And I'm the one that's winning it. You may be the one that came out of your mom's vagina, but I'm the one that's coming in to it. <laughs> and now you feel bad that I bought you my hometown, bud? Because I bought you again when I visit yours in a few months, yo. Oh, but one more thing. Just to get something clear? I have Your beard is weird. Tom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Round three, pack that, brother. Whenever they're ready. So you brought your girl to bring a bar up. <laughs> That's the kind of cool stuff. <laughs> you know what rhymes with I suck? You're a fucking slut. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> think Hold it down. Man, you don't get Shut up. Hold it down. You think anything you'll say will get these people start laughing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're known for playing a shameless criminal like Justin Chatwin. Okay. Okay. Shut the fuck up while I'm rapping, or there'll be a fight and you'll be known for running like Justin Gafton. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you what? talk about guns. He's got it. I've shot actual ones. I'm known for shooting outside. Like Justin Anderson, so and you're known for your work with your with the jury. That's Justin Robert Young. You're probably thinking why you're getting all these nobody Justins. Cause you're a nobody Justin. But you the type of guy that always tell a lie and never tell the truth though. Makes sense, Justin. True. You elephant. L, you're gonna cry me a river. A That's Justin Timberlake. Okay. <laughs> and after this, your girl says she's hot. She sees me, she gets a fever. Cause she's starting to say that my facial features starting to look like Justin, Justin Bieber. Bieber. <laughs> hot, yo. But she always says that you two never get along. She never says that you're right, Justin. She always says that you're wrong. There's never one time in the bedroom that she'll say that Justin's long. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But yo, this, ain't, this is the part of the battle where I switch it up just for me. Rush, this ain't the part of the battle where I do a hip-hop scheme. This is one where I do a for WWE. You think you extreme? Yeah, okay. Well, where's your credentials? Because there's no way I think Justin's credible. So, oh. okay. so you think that you off the top and you straight aerial. Next, I'm gonna put this lucha underground like Justin Gabriel. Yeah, okay. but, uh, but at home, he treats his girl like the Iron Sheik and him <laughs> Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> I don't give a shit, she looks like Mr. Perfect's lesbian daughter. Oh! And honestly, Jesse, just announce me the winner. Be like Justin Roberts. Wait, just <laughs> this breaking news. I don't mean to make this a bad habit. This won't be part of my this won't be part of my battles. This won't be tragic. But this Justin is a faggot. Come on. <laughs> Make some fucking noise, guys. I'll be right back with the judges. <laughs> Make some noise for that fucking battle, guys. <laughs>
That one had the room going fucking crazy, man. Like I said, I hate fucking even announcing a winner in a situation like this, but on another split decision, 3-2, make some noise for your winner, Papa, man. Woo!